Now, see the question for you, right? So there is a question for you on the screen. It's nothing but total number of boys and girls in a class is 52. If the number of girls is 10 more, if the number of girls is 10 more, then the boys find the number of boys. This is the given question. So I hope you are able to understand. Total number of girls are, what are the keywords there? See the word total, right? And here one more word is there. If the number of girls are 10 more. So what are, these are the two keywords which you are able to understand. So but please remember the total more exceeds sum. Everything is nothing but the plus. These are the keywords what we have to remember. Right. Total means plus. Sum means plus. Exceeds means plus. Everything. All these T words we come across. It's nothing but plus. Now let's use these keywords and the symbols in the real life scenario. If that too, it went, we went into the classroom. Here the comparison is going on between the boys and the girls. Okay, what, which is compared to whom? Boys are compared to the girls or girls are compared to the boys. Let's see that. If the girls is, if the number of girls is 10 more than the number of boys. So the number of girls is compared to the number of boys. So always to whom it is compared right to whom it is compared you take that as an unknown concept so here girls are compared to girls are compared to the boys so right therefore the boys should be taken as x so that you can get back the girls so let the number of boys be let the number of boys so let the number of boys be how much it's x okay now the question according to the question how many girls what's the number of the girls in the classroom so according to the question according to the problem what he says right girls are yes girls are 10 more 10 more than boys okay this is the given question for us now the tricky part i can explain you this this whatever the question sentence formation is in which direction check it out you write symbol formation in the reverse direction that's the tricky part what you have to remember so girls how many are girls as the question is moving in the forward direction 10 more than boys you go in the reverse direction see the way we are going to set 10 now you set the term in the reverse direction 10 more more means plus right but you take in the reverse direction right in the opposite direction 10 more than the number of boys but how many boys are there right it's nothing but what he says number of boys girls equals boys plus 10 which equals girls equals boys are nothing but x x plus 10 yes that's the tricky part now what is the total strength total class is 52 it's nothing but given there so total means what boys yes plus girl all together is nothing but 52 okay just now we have concluded boys are x and the girls just now we got it it's nothing but x plus 10 equals 52 now this is the simple equation which we are supposed to simplify now so x plus x is nothing but 2x 
plus 10 equals 52. Okay, let us simplify that now. So, 2x equals, when we take plus 10 to the other side, it becomes minus 10. Now, 2x equals 42. Now, 2, right, if you take it to the other side, it divides. x equals 42 by 2. 2 ones and 2 20 ones. So, number of boys in the class, comma, x equals 21. So, how many number of boys are there in the class? It's 21. So, this is how we are used the keywords in terms of symbols and then into the real life application. Now, let us go for one more sum which tells you one more application of consecutive terms. Okay, let's go for that. Now, right. So here the question is, sum of three consecutive terms is 24 and find the integers. Just now in the keywords, I have said to you consecutive terms. Which are the consecutive terms? Let me take, let the consecutive terms, let the consecutive terms, terms, of course, there are three, three terms, be, as I said to you, x the first one the second one is in relation with the back one x plus one and the next one is x plus two right but according to the problem what he says but according to problem according to the problem right according to the problem what he says sum is the sum is how much is that 24 right you know what's the meaning of sum so it's nothing but plus again so if you add up all the terms first term first term is x plus second term is x plus 1 and the third term is x plus 2 if you add them up we are getting it as 24 now we are ready with the equation it's what's next we have to simplify so that we can get the value of x now so x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 i have opened the parentheses or the brackets now how many x we have 1 2 and 3 it's nothing but 3x plus if we add up the numbers 3 equals 24 so let's simplify that 3x equals 24 minus 3 plus 3 transformed to the other side it became minus so 3x equals 21 now if you simplify that x equals 21 by 3 1 and 7 so what's the value of x it's nothing but 7 but we don't want only the x we need the other consecutive terms also now x plus 1 equals 7 plus 1 equals 8 and x plus 2 equals 7 plus 2 it's 9 so which are the three terms three terms are 7 comma 8 comma 9 but if you add them up 7 plus 8 plus 9 it's nothing but 24 so this is how what we are going to use the keywords of the mathematics into symbols and then we are getting back to the simplification this is how we find the unknown terms applying in the real life scenario hope you are able to understand let's do good luck thank you in this channel I have been placing both math and science videos.